The Samsung Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has been revealed by Samsung and I'll be sharing the details right after this. So today we've had two huge leaks and for a change both of them have come directly from Samsung. The design of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has supposedly been revealed by Samsung. We've got news of an insane new camera and Samsung also announced that they're going to be helping frontline workers during the current outbreak. But first, please don't forget to smash a thumbs up if you're excited for the Galaxy Note 20 and let me know in the comments which version you're waiting for. So first of all, for those of you that are in the USA, Samsung announced yesterday that frontline workers are going to be entitled to a 30% discount in their online store and free repairs on their Samsung devices. The deal is for all frontline workers such as doctors and nurses, hospital workers, firefighters, EMTs, police and more, and they're entitled to one free repair and this also includes cracked screens and battery replacements. The only requirements Samsung have put in place are that the device must be able to turn on and that there's no internal water damage. Next up, we've got news of an incredible 600 megapixel camera that's coming from Samsung. Earlier this year, they surprised us with their 108 megapixel sensor, and now they're pushing the boundaries even further. It's reported that the human eye relates to about a 500 megapixel resolution, so this means that the new camera would essentially capture more detail than someone can see with 2020 vision. Now, I've seen a few posts claiming that this is going to be on the Galaxy Note 20, but we can be pretty certain it won't. The report comes directly from Samsung, so it is true they're working on it, but the jump from 108 megapixel to 600 is huge, and it will take them time. New pixel binning technologies are going to be required to achieve this level of detail, so I wouldn't even have too much hope for the Note 21. When it comes to the design of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, we'll most likely have it leaked in the form of factory CAD renders way before Samsung give us any detail. Now of course, there is a little we already know and can make educated guesses on the rest of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. For my regular viewers, you would have already seen this, so just switch off now, but for anyone new here, we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Well, the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past, things have been changing lately, so it's going to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20. Last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 inch and 6.8 inch displays. We then had a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display. Given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming, I'm going to estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display. Now of course smartphone sizes are generally getting larger so phablet sizes are going to rise too. Given the success of last year's notes, I'm also going to predict that we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 20 along with a Galaxy Note 20 Plus. We haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays, but I'm going to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 and a 7 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120 hz dynamic AMOLED display. We're no doubt going to see an in display fingerprint scanner along with Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. Now when it comes to the selfie camera, the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year. It's going to be interesting to see whether they stick with the punch hole camera top center or if the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether. Many are curious whether in-display cameras are going to be available for consumers and when Samsung have this technology ready. My guess it would be introducing it on the Note line, but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tech and it's likely going to be something we see in 2021. When it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be called, I've got no doubts that we're going to see a rectangular camera housing. Samsung have stuck with this across their mid-range and their flagships this year, so the Note 20 should be no different. Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with their cameras, so I'm going to predict that we'll get a 108 megapixel ISOCELL sensor with pixel binning technology. We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities, we'll get an ultra wide angle for those wide shots, and we'll also get a 3D time of flight depth sensor. We'll also no doubt see better camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus compared to the standard Note 20. 
In the hardware department, we know the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Exynos 990 globally. We'll see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it will, of course, be expandable with a micro SD card. Given the larger size, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5,200 milliamp hours, while the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be around 4,300. Of course, both Galaxy Note 20s are going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2, and it will be IP68 water resistant. The Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3.5mm headphone jack, and most importantly for Note fans, it will be coming with the much-loved S Pen using Bluetooth 5. We haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen, but it's no doubt going to be more refined with new hardware and software features. The Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device, and judging by recent years, we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 and release towards the end of the month. When it comes to pricing, it will of course be an expensive device. Prices are expected to start at about $1100 to $1200 for the standard Note 20, and around $1400 to $1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be called. Given the success of this year's Lite models, it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line. It's a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company. We've got a huge selection in the A range, the Premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip phone. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Which model are you waiting for? And do you agree that the images shown from Samsung are not the new Note 20? Or does anyone out there think they are? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice. And I'll see you guys in the next one.